Walking forward, they're off for Wen Racing for the Dragon TV and Film Studios Pony Race. One and a quarter miles ahead for these five ponies and the early leader will be Wee Anthony and Finn Murphy, who has the early lead with Dance Alone on his outside. Renaissance 111 and Memphis Tacey Tyler in the blue jacket is in third with Gold Rush and Levi Williams on his inside. And now just dropping three length server back into fourth position. And Labourland's Captain Scarlet and Henry Graham is now in fifth place, about two lengths behind Levi Williams and Gold Rush. So there's about eight lengths then, top to tail. And we Anthony it is who leads the way in the green cap with Finn Murphy on board the 2021 Chepstow winner. By about three lengths to in second position, Dance Alone with Tom Devereaux on board the Grey Pony. In third then to Renaissance 111 and Memphis Tacey Tyler in the blue and green. Gold Rush is currently in fourth, just being overtaken by the looks of things by Labourland's Captain Scarlet and Henry Graham as they pass the halfway point and now have about five and a half furlongs left to run as they now crown the bend to line up for the judge on Chepstow's long home straight. We Anthony has the lead by about half a length to him second position. Dance alone in the yellow with Tom Devereaux in the saddle. Henry Graham charters the widest course aboard Labourland's Captain Scarlet in the maroon and blue colours. With in between them Gold Rush in the red and white. And at the rear of the field at this stage it's Renaissance 111. Half a mile left to run up the undulating and stiff home straight here at Chepstow. And it is at this stage We Anthony who leads the way. Tom Devereaux and Dance alone in the yellow looks threatening. So does Labourland's Captain Scarlet on the outside and Gold Rush and Levi Williams need to thread the needle between the three ponies to get in front. Two and a half furlongs left to run. And it is Dance Alone joined now by Labourland's Captain Scott on the outside. The Fosslaft's winner draws alongside Dance Alone. In third position now on the inside is Wee Anthony, the long-time leader. Dance Alone, though, has more fuel in attack. Furlong and a half left to run and Dance Alone back in the lead. Labourland's Captain Scott's white face on the outside. Far side now is Wee Anthony plugging on. Dance Alone still just in front, but only by about half a length or so. Labourland's Captain Scott on the near side getting back with Henry Graham in the saddle. Foot half a furlong left to run inside the final hundred yards they run. Labourland's Captain Scott near side. Dance Alone in the yellow on the far side. It's going to be very, very close. Labourland's Captain Scott on the near side. Dance Alone furthest away. It goes to the judge between Labourland's Captain Scott, Dance Alone, Wee Anthony gold rush and then Memphis Tacey Tyler on Renaissance 111 is in fifth place. First number four. Labourland's Captain Scarlet. Second number three. Dance Alone. Third number five. We Anthony the fourth place Taurus. Number two, Gold Rush. The provisional result of the Dragon TV and Film Studios Pony Race 1. First, number four, Labourland's Captain Scarlet. Second, number three, Dance Alone. Third, number five, We Anthony and the fourth place pony. Number two, Gold Rush. The distances were a neck and the same, a neck and the same. So it's all go here on Family Fun Day. We've just had the first pony race and the, the runners are out for our second. Don't forget that non-runner number five, it's Father Ted doesn't go in our next pony race. But let's welcome in the jockeys and the ponies from our opening race, especially the winner. Let's give a big cheer for the winner, Lady Balan's Captain Scarlet, ridden by Henry Graham. Well done, Henry. And we'll have a joint presentation for both this race and the second race after the, uh, the next race, next pony race. So both presentations for the pony races will take place 
once the 12.55 has been completed. Now, just to bring you 